Hello children today we are going to start with our next chapter of environment standard 5th chapter 11 sunita in space okay children do you know that our earth is round like a globe have you seen the globe see this is a globe okay see this is can you see the shape our earth is also like a globe spherical shape okay see here can you see see i'll show you india in the globe see here is india okay and there are seven continents okay uh, in last chapter i show you the uh, this uh, directions okay in globe also there are directions north downward is south the right side is east and the left side is west direction okay so here is india okay this blue can you see this blue color okay this shows the seas and oceans okay this blue part shows seas and ocean there are seven continents and india comes in asian continent okay and you know children there are 28 state also see this is map but i'll show you some of the states in map okay first of all we'll see the direction see upward is north direction downward is south direction to my right is east direction and to my left is here it is a west direction see some states i'll show you in the map see first we'll see here it is rajasthan then gujarat okay then here is tamil nadu telangana karnataka madhya pradesh uttar pradesh himachal pradesh then here is nagaland mizoram sikkim this all are odisha this are some of the state out of 28 state okay children see here sunita in space you know who is sunita sunita williams sunita william she is an she was an astronaut okay what do you mean by astronaut see an astronaut is a person who goes in the space to learn about space planets and heavenly body she also went to space but before sunita williams you know who went in space kalpana chavla in 1997 she was the first indian born woman and second person flying in space but due to some disaster of colombia she she was not able to reach the earth and you know who is the first person who went in space is rakesh sharma rakesh sharma is the first man to go in space okay now children see indians in space to sunita william kalpana chavla they all went to space and there they did most of the research is okay and here sunita william she shares her experience sunita williams when she went in space there from there she has described her experience how she experienced in space see human beings and objects float in space feet do not stay on the floor of the spaceship water does not stay in one place have to catch floating food packets to eat hair keep standing all the time so to stay in one place one has to strap oneself to an object so here she has shared her experience So other questions that were here are um what would you re recommend as a job if so, uh, and to what type of person would want to be an astronaut I think people who would like to explore uh of course people who like math and science that's what this is all about um they, we have people in the office who are doctors 
teachers, veterinarians, engineers, pilots. So all sorts of people um, become astronauts. And I think if you, could, you see, it's just sort of cool. So I think people who like to do a little adventure and like to do cool stuff probably usually become astronauts. Hey, Aki, what are you doing down there? <laughs> this is one of the cool things about space, too. It sort of looks like there's a big old hole here, but you don't even think twice about it. You can just jump over the hole. Or, if you want, you can go jump into the hole. I'm coming down. <laughs> then you can come right back up again, like Superman. <laughs> We're lucky we have a really cool big space station that you can fly around in. That's actually called the PMM. You might have saw it out the window. It was a big silver canister. What's really great about that is it's essentially our closet in our pantry or whatever you want to call it. We have extra food down there. We have extra clothes. We actually throw the trash out down there. So it's nice and organized, and we have all of our stuff that we need while we're working in all these other modules all stowed in this location down here. And it's a so lot here of fun we are to play in the heart of the space station, really. This is the service mall module. This is the central post. In case we had any problems, I know one, a couple of the questions were about what type of things do you have to worry about. And some of the things we have to worry about in space are fire. If we had a fire, if we had a depressurization, like we were hit by a micrometeorite and it made a hole. Or if we had some type of toxic atmosphere, we use ammonia for our radiator, so there is a possibility that ammonia could come into the vehicle, and then it would be bad for all of us. If we have any of those problems, we come right here, which we call the central post. It is the main heart uh, of the space station. It was also the first computers that came up here. Okay, Sunita's experience of living in space. We could not sit at one place. We kept floating in the spaceship from one end to another. So she says that they were not able to sit on one space. They were floating. Yani wo log paani mein jaise hum log tairte hai na. Like this, like that they were floating in, in spaceship. Water too doesn't stay at one place. It flows around as blobs. To wash our face or hands, we had to catch these blobs and wet paper with them. We ate very differently there. The real fun was when all of us would float into the dining area of the spaceship and catch the floating food packets. In space, there was no need to use a comb. My hair kept standing all the time. No being able to walk, we had to get used to floating around. We had to learn to do simple things differently. To stay at one place, we had to strap ourselves there. Papers also had to be stuck to the wall of the spaceship. It was a lot of fun living in space, but it was also difficult. So like this, she shared her experience that how they were living in space. Okay, they were not standing at one place. They were floating from one place to another in the space ship. For eating also, they were not sitting on in a dining area. They were floating only. The food packets were also floating. They were giving by floating only and they were catching the food packets. Now see, what you can see from space. So here, Sunita Williams, when she is in the spaceship, from there she describes the earth. She says that from the space, the earth looks so beautiful and amazing. One can sit for hours looking at the earth. It looks very different, okay? They, they can see the seas and oceans, okay? So many things. It looks very different. They see greenery also from the space. Then earth is round. See, I told you before also that our earth is round. The earth is round like a globe. Earth is a huge spherical ball. All living beings and its physical features are found on its surface and not inside it. All the people, all human beings, we are on the surface of the earth. 
we are not inside the earth but we are on the surface of the earth we can see the moon the sun the stars in the space from the surface of the earth okay you all can see the moon the sun the stars so many things you can see from the surface of the earth so our earth is round like a globe earth pulls everything towards itself why earth puts everything towards itself because the gravitational force of the earth because of the gravitational force uska force aisa hai that it force everything towards itself so because of the gravitational force of the earth attracts everything towards it self because of that if you throw the ball okay suppose if you throw the ball up but it will come down only why because of the gravitational force the earth attracts everything towards itself so because if you have seen the water when you pour the water when you put water in any glass or any jar okay it remains stable only it doesn't fall down why because of the gravitational force okay it remains stable only it remains there only so the gravitational force of the earth attracts everything towards itself okay now from space you can only see land and water not the different countries see from the space okay you can only see the water okay the seas you can see you can see the land but can you uh, you are sitting in a spaceship and you can say that this is india this is america like this you can imagine ki aap wo laga sakte ho ki ye to india hai no we cannot identify that it will look same only suppose by train also if you are going from india to delhi suppose we are going okay you can see any lines ke ye india ki line hai this is delhi ki line hai no we cannot see any line you can see this lines only in the map or on the globe but you cannot see anything from the space you can only see the lands the seas the oceans you can see from the space okay now children what other things you can see in the sky you can see the sun okay stars planets moon constellation meteorites okay stars you have seen the stars at night constellation what do you mean by constellation see constellation means when stars joins with each other and with when they make any shape okay that is called constellation planets for example venus and mercury okay if we see properly in the evening okay in the evening if you see properly you can see the planet venus and mercury okay sun you know the sun you can see sun in the morning moon chanda mama bolte hai that also you can see at night and next is meteorites okay meteorites are the object which catches fire when it comes in contact with the earth's atmosphere and it comes very fast also on the earth okay children see when sunita william she went in space there from there she has shared uh, means she has some photographs from the space ships is the first picture you can see here the take off we take off means they have started their journey to go in the space and on which date 9 12 2006 next picture what is written our feet don't stay on the floor so they are not standing on the floor they are floating on the floor and on 11 12 2006 okay now 11 12 2006 where is this foot flying away can you see your food the food is flying okay they are not sitting at one place to eat their food is flying from one place to another like this they passes the food because it is floating so they food they pass their food packets also from one place to another in the spaceship only next see can you see this sunita williams okay look my hair is standing no problem while working can you see her hair it is in standing okay it is not coming on her 
phase and for that she don't have any problem while working on 13 12 2006 now on 16 12 2006 can you see this is sunita williams okay and sunita outside the space ship really in space see sunita williams is standing outside the space on 16 12 2006 so these are the photograph she has share from the space ship see children here can you see this photograph okay i explain you before that our earth is like a globe okay look at this photograph of the earth this is earth taken from the space ship this photo is taken from the space ship from such photograph today we know what the earth looks like but thousands of years ago people could not imagine what the earth look like okay so thousand years of thousand years ago people were people were not not knowing that how the earth looks like so from space ship they have taken the picture of the earth okay here is another picture an interesting photograph a space ship went to the moon okay this photograph of the earth was click from the surface of the moon because there is no light okay can you see this picture so this is a picture of the moon this photo photograph of the earth was click from the surface of the moon okay so children have you understood the lesson i hope you must have understood the lesson thank you